Hey everyone, it's Sky Schooly here, a staff writer with business.com. Today I'm talking about the time and attendance solution, QuickBooks Time. I'll be walking you through how to add employees to the software and how to build and modify employee shifts and schedules. Let's get to it. All right, so once you start your free trial of QuickBooks Time, you will be prompted with a page that looks something similar to this. And you will see a getting started widget. So you can navigate it to it over here on the left and it will prompt you to just go through the process of setting up your account. So you can speak with a representative, you can set up company information, onboard team members and schedule shifts. So this is what we'll be going over today. You can add projects and estimates and you can add in payroll information. So for this demo, we'll go to onboard team members and add team member. So you'll see I've already been playing around with the software and added several fictional employees, but up here at the top is where you can add a new member. So you've got a few different options, but today we will add it manually. All right, so for this demo, we are going to add in, we'll say Johnny Rogers is his name. And you can add in an email if you would like. And you'll see once I've added in that email over here on the right, it you can send that email invitation to this email to this employee, or you can deselect it. Same with mobile. If you add in a number, mobile number here, then over here on the right, you can select to send an invitation to them via text as well. And now here you can add in their role. Are they a worker, administrator, or manager? And for this demo, we're not gonna send out any emails just because this is a fictional employee. However, if you were to send out that notification down here on the left, this is the invitation that they'll see. So down here on the right, we will click add one team member. All right, so if we scroll down a bit to Johnny Rogers, the employee that we've just added, you can actually click into his profile and add in a bunch of different user information here. So for this employee, we're going to add in a new group and we will say that he is going to work on the sales team. And you can save that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. And next we can go on to scheduling a shift for Johnny. Now, if I once I click into here, you will see a calendar view. However, I'm gonna exit out real quick. And over here on the left rail, you'll see schedule. You'll notice that you're also prompted with the same view. So a couple different options to get to this scheduling page. Now, if I scroll down to Johnny Rogers, you'll see that all these other people have schedules already, but Johnny does not. So we're gonna go ahead and start him off tomorrow. And you just click in and you'll notice here on the right is where you are scheduling that information. We're going to say that he is a sales agent. And over here, you'll notice that I've got my sales team in blue. You can color coordinate your teams or employees, however you like. So we'll just add that. Just makes it a little visually easier to, to differentiate certain employees and schedules. Now we've got our sales team working from nine to five. And what we actually really like is up here, you'll notice if you click repeat, this makes it really easy to make a, a massive schedule if, with just a few clicks of a button. You don't have to add each individual day if they are working the same schedule every week. So here you can add in monthly, weekly, daily, or every weekday. You can select the number of weeks. And for the sake of this demo, we'll just say that he's working until Friday the 23rd because he's got off for the holidays and done. And if you scroll down, you can add a location. Where does he work or live? And you can add any notes and publish. Now you'll be prompted um, initially to send notifications or not to this employee about their schedule. However, you can modify this over here on the left. If you just click into company settings, then you can go through and modify whether this automatically sends or automatically does not send or you're prompted every time. But we're gonna go ahead and send it because we want him to know when he's working. And that is it. You'll notice that he now has a schedule. 
Now, say we went in and we made a mistake or we want to modify uh, his time or um, something about his schedule for a specific day. You can click in, click edit, and you have the option to edit one specific shift. So this specific day or the entire series. So we'll say series. Maybe we want to change his entire schedule. So maybe Johnny actually works nine to four since he's a new employee. We'll modify that. Publish. Again, you have the option to send or not. We advise sending just so he knows his schedule. And if you exit out, you'll see that his schedule was updated there. And that was pretty much it. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. We thought it was pretty easy to use. You do have the option to view um, the calendars by day, by week, which is what we were just viewing, or by month. And then if you view it by month, you could actually click into each specific day and view the employees that way. Now, before I wrap up, I did also want to mention, if you click over here on the left on the Who's Working tab, this doesn't really have to do with scheduling, but I just wanted to call it out because I thought it was really interesting. They do have GPS tracking. So if you click on map and you can filter out whether you're viewing employees who are on the clock or all team members, and then you can sort by um, various items here. And you'll see all of your employees pop up here. And now if these were real employees that had real GPS data, then you would see their little locations pop up all over the map. So that was just one little um, thing that we wanted to call out separately. But in general, that is how you add employees and schedule their shifts. Music